Hey guys, it's Tam here, and I'm back with another Lego Star Wars set review. This is the UCS B-Wing, set number 1,227, 1, with 1,487 pieces. The B-Wing Starfighter came out like 2012, judging by the Darth Maul. Maybe 20, yeah, I think 2012. It had three booklets, I didn't even notice that. Um, here's the instructions. This is a set that's going up on my Bricklink store. Um, Team Bricks 22 is what it's going to be called. It's doesn't the official set doesn't come with any figures, but it's not going to come with the box. It's just going to be the instructions, all three, and the set itself. Um, it's like it's a, it doesn't come with any figures. Um, oh hey, look at that! That's a classic. The Win Kid. Um, here you can see the parts it's a collection. Oh, wait, oh does it have a whip piece? I think, it, or not a whip piece, but a vine piece. There's a vine piece hidden in there somewhere. See, I don't like the back, the big turret, or I don't know where that is. It is the big turret. I think it looks like it, unless there's a whip, uh, a standard, you know, Catwoman whip piece as well. Nope, it's on the big turret, but you can see it's got the classic gray instructions. It's got a stand. And it's pretty big. It also looks beautiful. This is a set I love, especially that cockpit piece, which, as you can see, the cockpit spins. Oh, this table's a bit unsturdy. Um, the stand holds it at this angle, um, which is pretty nice, because this is a pretty classic angle for the B-Wing. Um, trying to get a good thumbnail. Um, yeah, with the wings out, you know, it's it's the... Blade Wing Starfighter. Um, let's see, how do I film this? Uh, the stand, you can see it has the stand, like all UCS sets. So you can check that out, read that. You can see all its, um, you know, stats. And is this a station? Oh, they got, they got ratcheted joints for this one. And it uses like the pirate, the ship's mast for those. But I may actually have to, like, get into camera for this one. That was not a plan. But that's how it's looking. So. Can I flip it? This video may be edited. Um. Okay. Wait, how can I do this? Okay. Because I want to take off the stand. You can see the stand. It's pretty well shaped for the B-Wing, where it perfectly cradles it in the, the winged position. And it uses like airplane pieces. But, let's see if I can get this out of the way. Here, you can see the B-Wing itself. Um, that's the gravity cockpit piece. And this is not gonna, I'm gonna actually have to get in the camera for this one. And that was not the plan. I mean, hell, I've, I've probably been getting into camera. But, um, here I'll just show off the static stuff first. Um, you can see the big cannon on the bottom. The, the vine piece is back here. Let me make sure the stand is secure. I don't want it falling while I'm reviewing this. It's got a lot of smooth gray pieces, which is really neat. Um, and then you can see here's one wing plate, how that hinges. It's got ratchet joints. It's got like six of them. It's got the sticker uh, circle piece here. Um, and it's got the big side cannon. Oh shoot, this is just scary. How much it wobbles. Not a big fan of that. Um, that's just... It's also the table I have it on is wobbly. Um, yeah, the the cockpit it has like the tread pieces up here, which is pretty neat. Focus is all over the place. It's got some gold pieces there too. The spins, um, the back is pretty nicely built up. Um, and then it's got the cannon, or the engines in the back. 
with the like neon orange, which that color actually I believe is, um, has been uh, dis discontinued or whatever. That, you know, that they've stopped making that color now. It's missing one of those. I'll make sure to get that in there before I put it up on the store. And yeah, you can just see it looks so smooth. On the other side too, like they made sure to do it double-sided, which is very nice. Um, really the only non-double-sided thing is the bottom of the wing plates, but that's understandable because they gotta like, they gotta close up somehow. Um, this wing, I'm impressed at how well this, how sturdy, oh, hold on. Maybe not how sturdy. Let's see this. Oh, that does come off. That's not that sturdy of a connection. Huh. And now I only wonder if you can put this landing. Is that something they thought about? I'm gonna do it. I've actually never done this. Uh, is this a big enough surface? I may have to put it on the floor. Oh my goodness. It does land. Look at this. It does land. You can get into the cockpit. Uh, can you? Actually, wait. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get into the cockpit. You're definitely not supposed to be able to get into the cockpit. But here you can see... It's got that printed piece there. It's actually a three wide cockpit. It's got a pretty nicely shaped seat. It's kind of loose now. I think I loosed it up. Sorry about the focus on this video. I messed up somewhere and it's not happy that I did that. It's got, a, it's got the Jedi Interceptor cockpit piece, which looks really nice. Let's see if I can get that back in place. There we go. back there. Now let's put this back on its stand because I do not trust myself with this thing. Oop, I stepped on a, I stepped on a nail. I have shoes on, luckily. Okay, so yeah, that hinges outwards and then you gently lower this here onto the stand. Is this even in frame? Kind of is. And then you can, oh shoot, I broke it. Okay, this is obviously not supposed to be played with. This is a UCS set. It's meant to go on a shelf. As you can tell, I've broken it. That's totally on me. Okay, well this is getting taken apart after this anyways. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah, make sure to check out the Brickwing store. Um, there's going to be other sets too, like the UCS um, Death Star 2 or whatever, you know, like the second Death Star set, as well as the original Playscale Death Star. There's going to be the Super Star Destroyer and uh, like 50 others. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.